the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather at the Lord's banquet, we begin by asking for God's forgiveness and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us of our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to an everlasting life. Amen. Us pray. Almighty, ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise, as we ask this through Christ our Lord. A reading from the first book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, you shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourself in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, 
you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset. For this cloak is for this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake, and you became intimidators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all of the believers in Macedonia and in Archaea. From you, the word of the Lord has sounded forth. But in every place, your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols, to serve the living and true God and await his Son from heaven whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And this is the greatest in the first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Once again, in the gospel passage that we just heard, Jesus is being confronted and tested. In this passage, it's by the Pharisees, and it's about the law. In the Torah, in the first five books of the Old Testament, there are 600 and 13 laws. Everyone knew that no one could remember and know all those laws. And so they're asking Jesus, what's the most important? It was a trap. And very much like last week, where Jesus changes the entire frame of the question. It's not about taxes, it's about the coin. This week, he does the same thing. He said, it's not really about the law, it's about the law giver. He's challenging the Pharisees about their exclusive focus on the many laws of Israel. And he's challenging them to ask the question, where did those laws come from? Believing that they had focused so much on the law that they had lost sight of the lawgiver. It's backwards, Jesus says, that if you focus on the Lord your God, and your, your God's love for you, and your love for God and neighbor, you may not even need the laws. But if you do, they're there. But you don't start with the law. You start with the Lord. You start with the law giver. And I can't help but think that sometimes in our own lives, we do that. We misplace our vision so that we are focusing on all the laws that apply to our spiritual lives. And there are enough. And we lose sight of the lawgiver and of the whole purpose of law. It's to lead us to God. It has a purpose. Imagine for a moment if we were rich and we owned a racehorse and we hired the best jockey we could and we were looking forward to that first race. And there we are at the fence and the race begins. And an hour later, our horse crosses the finish line. And you look at the jockey and say, what happened? And he joyfully says, oh, I stayed within the fences. No, the point was to run the race and win. There was a destination. He got it all wrong. And the laws are the fences. 
When we need them, they keep us in bounds. But the whole purpose of our lives is not the law, but the journey and the destination, the finish line. To be with the Lord Jesus forever. And that's the point. The gospel today is not only challenging the Pharisees, it's challenging you and me. Our life cannot be about law alone. It has to begin with the Lord and the Lord's love for us and our love for others. That's the destiny. That's our calling. That's our vocation, to love the Lord God with all our heart and to love one another as God loves us. Together, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence and with faith, we come before the Lord with our needs. For the church, that we may manifest our love of God and neighbor in our words and our deeds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, as we approach Election Day, may all citizens cast their vote in a spirit of reverence for this right, charity for those they disagree with, and concern for the good of all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of compassion, that our hearts may feel the pain of others, and reach out to all who are suffering or in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have the coronavirus and for those who care for them, that God will heal and restore the sick and help those who are assisting them to be instruments of God's healing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the living and deceased members of Holy Sepulchre and St. Killian parishes, and for the prayers we hold in the silence of our heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we give you thanks for your presence in our lives. Help us to see eternal life with you as the goal of every day we live, as we make this prayer through Christ our Lord.
Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, who is the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, look upon the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the saints and angels we proclaim your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O Lord, we pray, may your sacraments perfect in, in us as what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's a bit of a commercial message, but if you have ever thought or heard yourself say, I wish there was a Friday fish fry in November. <laughs> we have your back. The Friday after the election, we will have a parish fish fry. Same great fish, but it's all takeout. And there's lots more information in the flock notes, in the website, the parish bulletin, so please join us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.